Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I took down these braids. So I have been wearing them for a full month. I had originally said that I would only have these in for about two weeks max, but I ended up keeping them in for a full month. So as you can see, it's definitely time to get uh, these braids out. And so, yeah, we're gonna get going. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. <laughs> So starting off, we're going to use these scissors here just to cut off the tips. Uh, this will make it easier for us to take down the braids. But before we do that, I forgot that I had these little jewelry pieces in some of the braids. So we're going to take those out first. Um, they're just little like hair jewelry, little rings that just clamp onto the braid. So I had a few of those scattered throughout my um, hairstyle. So I'm just gonna take those down. And then once that's complete, we're gonna go back to uh, cutting off some of the braiding hair. Um, so as you can see here, I'm trying to determine where my hair ends and where the braiding hair um, sort of continues on its own. So for this piece here, I'm gonna trim it right there. Um, and then I'm just going to repeat that same process to all the other braids. So it was a little tricky for me to find where my hair ended because the braiding hair blended so well with my natural hair. So you can see here I'm a little uh, not sure, but we're just going to keep going. And then I was a little bit more conservative with the rest of the braids. Again, I wasn't too sure where my hair ended. So I only really cut off about a few inches at the bottom of the braid. So again, I was going one by one and just cutting off that excess hair. And this will just make it easier for us to take down the braid since we'll have less to um, unbraid. So once I cut off all the tips, this is what we're left with. As you can see, it's still pretty long. Again, I didn't wanna risk cutting my own hair. So I just you know, cut off a little bit of the tips. And then we're gonna get started on taking down the braid. So for the uh, braids that were easier to take down, I just used you know, my hands to take down the braid. And as I moved up, I would remove the single pieces of braiding hair that I installed throughout the braid. So here's a piece right here. And then here we go. The remaining pieces are coming out now. Isn't that so satisfying? Yes. So as you can see, my natural hair still looked pretty moisturized despite being in the braids for a whole month. So if you're interested in seeing what products I use when installing my braids, I'll link that video up for you so you can check it out. But yeah, so I just continued the process and just try to move as quickly as possible. I had about 30 or so braids, so it wasn't too, too bad. Um, I did have a lot of shedding, as you can imagine, a full month of shedding. Um, so you could see here that as I was running my fingers through my hair, the hair was just falling out. And this is what came out of just those two uh, braids. So imagine that plus everything else. Um, the majority of the shedding happened in the shower when I was washing my hair. Here, I want to show you guys just another way that you can uh, get the braid uh, unraveled. If you're having trouble with just your fingers, you can use the tip of a rat tail comb. So I did that for some of the braids and then again, just continued to take them down. I would say the entire process probably took me between 30 minutes and an hour. I didn't really time it, but it wasn't too, too long. Again, I didn't have that many braids, so um, it wasn't too bad. So here we are at the halfway point. 
I'm just going to keep on um, with the process and ta-da, just like that, they're all gone. So now we're gonna get going into the cleansing part of this process. Um, but before we do that, I do wanna show you what we're working with. So you can see here, there's a lot of flaking, quite a bit of buildup, especially um, at the roots where the braiding hair joined my hair, just from you know the product sitting there and not really having any way to go. So desperately in need of a nice scalp treatment. So that's what we're gonna start off with this, uh, this scalp and curl clarifier from Mona nose hair I'm gonna first spritz the scalp with a little bit of water just to make it easier to work with and to kind of refresh the scalp but yeah so I really love this clarifier from Mono's hair I've shared it before in a few of my videos um, and I'm constantly repurchasing it because I just love it so much the nozzle makes it very convenient to just apply the product right to your scalp and it is recommended to apply it to dry hair prior to shampooing. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm just massaging it in. It really does a great job with lifting product and uh, just really uh, giving your scalp a nice little refresh. So yeah, once I do that, I'm gonna head in the shower and this is me after my shower. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I did in the shower. So after rinsing off the Clarify, I shampooed using this Miel shampoo. And then I used this um, Emerge. It's actually a deep conditioner, but I just used it uh, to put in my hair while I detangled and then I went back in with the shampoo I wanted to make sure I double cleansed and then I applied my deep conditioner or hair mask this one is from ANA naturals and then I let that sit in for a little bit and then this is where we are now so now the hair is a lot cleaner it feels super refreshed feels really good um, so feels so good to kind of have my natural hair back. So now I'm going to go in with styling. Um, but before that, I'm going to apply my leave-in. And then I'm going to use the styling cream and the Stronghold Gel from Pattern Beauty to style my hair today. Um, so first, the leave-in conditioner. Um, no secrets here. This is normally how I apply my product. So I'm not going to get too detailed but of course I want to keep spritzing my hair throughout the styling process and this just ensures that um, my hair remains frizz free um, you always want to apply product to either really soaking wet hair or you know try and keep your hair as wet as possible to ensure that it will dry frizz free I'm also passing my tangle teaser through again just to get rid of any last minute knots and to smooth the hair and the product into my hair so going back in with a little bit more leave-in um, I haven't applied any type of product to my hair for a full month so I really want to make sure I saturate it really well with some moisture um, and then we will spritz some more water and then start the styling process. So I'm just gonna uh, let you guys watch while I style my hair section by section. Oh, 
right, so now that we finished applying all the product, um, I'm just going to let my hair air dry and yeah, and I'll come back and show you guys the final results. Many hours later. All right, guys, so we are back after many, many hours of air drying, but typically I like to air dry my hair. Um, it just helps with, uh, again, preventing frizz doesn't give me as much volume as if i were to diffuse but that's okay the hair will get bigger throughout the days but i really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video as you can see here a close-up the curls look really really good the scalp looks really clean so i um, super happy with the results and the transformation back to my curls but thank you guys so much again for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below and say hi. Um, but thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.